Hi all, welcome to your online tutorial of CVEN 1300, Engineering Mechanics for Civil Engineers. This course is the basis for most, if not all, civil engineering courses. Okay, so you have to do this course. Today we are going to start with a quick intro, revision of Physics 1A, and a look at units. Before we get into it, this course is split into two parts, Statics and Dynamics. Statics is the first eight weeks of the course, and Dynamics is the second four weeks of the course. You should look through your course outline to see the lecture and tutorial schedule. You will have a quiz in week six for Statics, and a quiz in week 12 for Dynamics, along with some homework assignments for both. Statics gives equilibrium equations, while Dynamics gives motion equations. Let's do a revision question on components of forces and equilibrium. Forces are split into horizontal and vertical components. We will get these from trigonometry. Equilibrium means steady state, and this means the sum of horizontal forces goes rightward should equal to the sum of horizontal forces going leftward. Also, the sum of vertical forces going upward should equal the sum of vertical forces going downward. Okay, so let's start on the example. For the, for the B force, using the simple right angle triangles we can see, to use cos 45 times by our force for our vertical forces and sine 45 times by our force for the horizontal force. Similarly, this is done for the A force. We then use simultaneous equations to calculate the two forces. As the 100 kilonewtons is in the opposite direction to the vertical forces of A and B, we use negative 100 kilonewtons. So guys, let's just have a quick look through here. So let's look, we go to try to get the vertical forces, we have to use trig to get from B here to the vertical force of B here. Okay, so that's how you get the vertical forces. And the vertical forces for this, for the A force, goes from here and you use cos 45 once again to get that. So we have cos 45, which is equal to 0 0.707. So we have the vertical force of FA, times by 0 0.707 plus the vertical force of B equal times by 0 0.707 minus 100 as the 100 is going downwards this way okay so it's a negative sign so this is our first equation of equilibrium okay so moving on from that we get also the horizontal force okay so using the simultaneous equations once again you can see that this times by sine 45 you can get the horizontal force and for A if you use sine 45 you can use the left force so we get the equation the horizontal force of A times by 0 0.707 minus as because it's in the opposite direction the horizontal force of B times by 0, 0 0.707 equals 0 so therefore the horizontal forces are equal to one another. These are opposite in sign because from the diagram the forces are facing in opposite directions. So therefore if we use this equation that we have here and this equation we can use simultaneous equations to find out that FA times 1.414 equals 100 then solve for FA and being that FA equals FB they are both equal to the exact same thing. So this simple question is needed to be understood and to do well at this course, but well, of course we're going to go through it um, a lot of times, so don't worry if you don't get it straight away. Okay, so you could have learned a lot of this from Physics 1A, so if not, it's pretty easy to learn. So let's move on. Okay, for units, force is in newtons. It's probably the easiest part of this course should be the units, but people lose marks on significant figures and changing units respectively. So three significant figures for your answer is used unless specified otherwise. Okay, and also to be known, one kilonewton is equal to a thousand newtons. Okay, so for a summary of today's lesson, 
Remember how to find horizontal and vertical forces through trigonometry. Remember that the structure should be under equilibrium unless there is a resultant force, which we will discuss next video. Equilibrium means the sum of forces in the horizontal and the vertical directions are equal to zero. So that's it, that's it guys, for this video. I hope this has helped, and I will see you next time for adding some vectors. Okay, bye.